need auto drive with a grain cart here for unloading a combine. So we got multiple things we need to set up here to get this all working today. First things first, everyone, we're actually gonna start with course play here. We need to get course play going on. Let's yeah, close that. We don't need that menu open. Um, get course play going on harvesting this field. This course is still a hired worker and or course play, whichever you prefer. I'm in a little bit odd shape field here, so we're just gonna use a course play for this. So we're gonna course play going on that just real quick here. Two headlands, sure, sure. Let's, let's that looks pretty good to me. Generate the course first waypoint, drive the course. Okay, that has nothing to do with auto drive. Oven. You don't have to do anything with that as far as auto drive goes. So actually, we'll, we'll come back to the combine here in a moment. But uh, as far as that goes, we don't need to do anything else with that. Let's get the uh, tractor out of the way here a moment as well. Probably just park him on the field here a moment. So there's basically two courses you're going to need to record here for auto drive of one. Uh, first things first, you're going to need a course for the truck. Now, if you already have some routes set up on your map, uh, you can either add to those or you possibly, depending on how you have them set up, use them the way they are for the truck course. Uh, in my case, Evan, we're going to take it from the field and we're going to put it in the main farm silo. So that's going to be the plan. We're just going to... Oh, uh, let's see once here. Probably about where that card is. That probably looks pretty good to me. Let's uh, close course, but we don't need course play for this. Uh, we are going to go to auto drive. So if you never used auto drive before, everyone, we're going to go to the exclamation point here. That's going to bring up our editing controls. We're just going to hit uh, record. And I'm also going to hit create a waypoint here. This will be field one load. Again, how you want to name these, everyone, is up to you. That's just how I've been doing it. And then we're just going to drive over to the unloading spot. That can be a cell point, silo, wherever you want to unload your grain at. In this case, fortunately, not very far away. And uh, typically when it comes to auto drive on, you always want to overshoot your target. So maybe not quite that far, but auto drive should be able to detect where it needs to unload at everyone. So you always want to have the unloading waypoint after the fact. So we're going to go create another one here, and we'll just call this uh, unload, nope, unload main farm silo. And then back around we go to where we started. And again, like I was saying, if you already have existing routes, you could simply add on to those existing routes. And this is just uh, kind of a quick, simple, and a dirty setup here. Although, actually, uh, as far as, like, field one goes, everyone, this is probably how I would uh, do it. Maybe should have pulled out just a little bit further, coming a little bit straighter. That's, yeah, we'll call that good right there. That should be pretty good. And we'll stop recording here, everyone. Uh, as always, with auto drive, everyone, you always have to have your courses connected together. So we are going to connect the end of this one. So click on that one and go to that one. So now, and again, make sure you have them in the right direction here, too. That's uh, maybe worth noting. And we're going to just move that over slightly because uh, I did a poor job of doing that one. Okay. And then we're going to set you in the uh, pickup and deliver mode. So we're going to pick up at the uh, field one load. We're going to take it to the main farm silo. And it doesn't really matter what you set your crop to here. I think we're actually on wheat, so we'll just leave it on that. Pretty sure that was wheat, right? I think that's what that was. Uh, field wheat, yes. So we got wheat on there. That's good. And we're just going to hit the power button. Turn that on, everyone. You should drive the course. Actually, you should just stop the waypoint here. Yep, there he goes. He's uh, sitting there waiting to be unloaded. Now we need to record a course here, everyone, for the grain car. And it's also relatively simple. We're just going to simply make a little, like, oval loop-type course. I usually uh, start it about across from the semi here. Usually where I do it. And we'll just uh, close course. But again, we don't need any of that rubbish. And we're going to hit the edit mode here again. And hit record. Hit the waypoint here. We need to set a, uh, let's see, field one wait. So that's where the uh, cart is going to wait. Uh, again, I mean, depending on how you have your field set up, you may want to modify that slightly. That probably maybe wasn't a great spot for that given this field, but you got to keep in mind that it's unlikely the grain cart's actually going to sit there and wait very much, so it's not probably going to get in the way very often if it does. And then we just want to line up with... 
with the truck here again you always want to overshoot it slightly everyone uh no we do not actually want to edit that point if i hit the uh, create waypoint at this point everyone the red line indicates where it's going to so it's going to edit that one there we don't actually want that so i'm just going to keep driving here actually you know what that one there will work okay uh that might be a little far we'll see once how that goes i can always move it if it isn't uh, we're gonna hit wait point here and we're gonna set uh field one part unload and then back around to where we start Okay, let's see if we get one more waypoint. There we go. That'll work. Stop recording. And then we're going to click on this one. So that's uh, stop there, tractor. That's uh, left click. It should turn green, everyone. And then you click on the first one recorded. So again, make sure you pay attention to the uh, direction of the arrows here. The, uh, the direction of the arrows will indicate the uh, direction that the horse can traverse, which is uh, very important. You don't want to have that the wrong way around unless auto drive is going to get confused so again hopefully everyone can see the arrows on there so if we were to uh click on this one here and click on that one i would it would remove that section so again the arrow in this one everyone is pointing in that direction so you want to make sure you click on this one and then go to that one and now they're of course uh, reconnected now what we need to do everyone is go to grain cart mode here or combine unload so that is called what is it called here Unload combine. That's what they call it in this mode here. We can also turn off edit mode. We don't. Uh, we might need that on. Let's actually just we'll move that forward just a little bit. I mean, again, you can just uh, right click and drag those points around a little bit. Works really good. Okay, so we're gonna turn off the unload mode here. Uh, this here, everyone, is your waiting point. So you set this to a field one wait. Again, whatever you name your waiting point, that is the point that is sitting over here somewhere, everyone. If I turn on edit mode, back on here. That is the point that's over here. Field one, wait. That's your waiting point, your location. And then we can turn that back off here a minute. And then, everyone, we're going to go to unload. So your field one, cart unload. That little symbol there, everyone, that is where your cart needs to unload at. Now, if we hit the power button here, waiting for call, he probably is not going to go anywhere, everyone. He might, he might not. Uh, I've had mixed results with this one here. It looks like he's going to stay there and wait. What we need to do, everyone, now is go to the combine here. Uh, we need to change one setting that I found works pretty good. So let's go to our settings here. Hopefully you can see that there. That's the little settings icon. We go over to the combine tab. This is only available on combines and harvesters, by the way. And we're going to change the find driver to yes. Uh, that seems to be the general consensus as to what you want to change on that one. And you notice that right away, the auto drive driver takes off. Uh, the combine or auto drive, whichever way it works, I mean, he's located a driver. Also... Also, I mean, there's one other thing you want to do here. Uh, once you change that setting, it should stay changed, by the way. You also want to set the combine to the same waiting point as the tractor. So the combine is on, or the, I'm sorry, the tractor is on field one weight. You also want to set your combine to field one weight. Uh, if you have it set to field one weight, everyone, the tractor would have come as well. We would have, uh, either one of those settings here, everyone should have made auto drive come unload the combine. And you notice here it looks like auto drive is lining up. The uh, pipe's a little close. Maybe we'll see. Uh, he's got it. I think he's got it. This is what uh, 9870. Okay, it's not the longest pipe on this one, but uh, all modded equipment here, by the way. So 8260R, Brent uh, 1596 cart, uh, John Deere 9870 STS uh, combine with the uh, John Deere 645 flex draper head with the air system on it, in case you're curious. And this is the uh, Millennial Farmer map. So at this point, that's pretty much how you set up auto drive for unloading a combine. Uh, in case you folks are curious, I'll just let this uh, play through here for a couple minutes so you folks can kind of watch and see once how it all happens. Uh, auto drive at this point should, once the combine is done unloading, pull away. And then I'll probably see if I can force auto drive to go unload. Uh, again, when it comes to auto drive, if you want it to go to the next step, you click these kind of double arrow buttons here, and auto drive should go on to the next, whatever's next. So in this case, I'm going to unload the combine. Uh, the next step should be to unload the grain cart. It should go to that one. So we'll, we'll wait here just a minute here, because otherwise that combine is going to be in the same vicinity as our truck. 
in typical fashion, everyone, you do have to watch the headlands sometimes. Sometimes auto drive can get a little stuck on the headlands depending on the field you're on. So you may just want to keep an eye on like that. If, you, uh, if there was something along the outside edge of this field, that would auto drive probably possibly would have backed into it. Again, auto drive is pretty good on the collisions, everyone. Uh, speaking of collisions, that's one thing you're going to want to watch when it comes to the trucks here. Make sure you have enough of a run-up distance here next to your trucks and your grain carts, Evan. So they're both coming in parallel next to each other. Um, if you have too short of a run-up distance and he's kind of like still turning yet, everyone, it's possible that either the truck or the cart will detect the collision and they'll kind of stop there. For those of you who watch my videos, you've seen it happen a few times. Uh, again, relatively easy. Evan, just make some adjustments to your course if needed and or just uh, record... Re record the grain card and again it's, it's just a simple loop everyone nothing to uh re-recording it right so just something to uh, keep in mind there okay i think that combine's far enough out of the way we're gonna hit the next button hopefully next next okay maybe i cannot do this one sometimes it'll let you do it sometimes it won't okay never mind we'll just let him go at some point everyone, he's gonna go unload the uh grain cart there hopefully so with that, I want you folks have any comments or questions about this, how to set up auto drive with grain cart mode. Uh, let me know. Throw them in the comments down below. Also, if you have any suggestions uh, how to do this better, something like that, even, let me know in the comments down below as well. Uh, we are using auto drive version 1.1.0.7 RC1 here at the moment, by the way. As far as I know, that's still the most recent. Oh, hey, there he goes. He's going to the cart unload now. <laughs> now he's going. But uh, let's see what's going on going to do that here a minute. Maybe we'll watch just a moment here. Then I want again, if you already know how to do this, Evan, you can uh, stop watching. We're just going to, for those you want to see it happen here, we're going to let the uh, auto drive unload. Yeah, it looks like he's taking off here finally. There we go. Follow the course around. Again, keep in mind, Evan, if auto drive is not quite in the right spot, you can uh, move the waypoints around there a little bit. Just uh, right click on them and drag them around. Again, auto drive here probably is not actually to the wait point. Uh, actually, you know, he might actually be to the wait point there. Yeah, he actually might be on the wait point, and he's unloading. And, of course, once the uh, truck is full, I could uh, force this one too, but I don't think you folks want to see that. It'd be pretty simple when it comes to the uh, trucking force there. Uh, of course, I mean, don't forget to check out the rest of my auto drive how-to videos here as well. And if there's something you'd like to see me do with auto drive, be sure to throw that down in the comments as well. So with that, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.